Hey you guys, welcome to my Facebook Live. I am in Price, Utah right now, um, dropping off my daughter and one of her cousins for um, grandma camp. They're going to um, they're going to be joining my mom in Grand Junction, Colorado. So my sister and one of my other nieces, we, we brought the girls down halfway. So sitting in my sister's car and it's really warm outside um, but it's a great day for a Facebook live so um, thanks you guys for hopping on um, I'm really excited about today because um, I want to talk to you about something that I was inspired to talk about with one of my clients um, she's going through a really difficult time with a family member who's having some um, you know pretty big health challenges and she texted me the other morning and she said I figured out what my problem is I figured out that um, my problem is I'm scared on every level emotionally physically financially um, spiritually and she said I feel like I'm a failure because I'm scared because I think I should be braver and I you know I sat with that text because when you know when a, a client of mine texts me something so personal and so um, just wow just so heartfelt it it means a lot to me um, and I want to be really mindful of how I respond and it was it it started me thinking about you know when we are in in the midst of difficult things in our lives when we're in the midst of emotional messes when we're in the midst of heartache and pain and you know how do we treat ourselves you know what do we say to ourselves and so i i i said to her i said you know, being scared is not a problem. Being scared is a normal human emotion. And there are gonna be times in our lives where we feel scared. And some, and whatever that is for you, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's, um, we all have those times in our lives where we feel really scared and really unsure. And we there are times where we feel angry about our circumstances or what's happening to someone that we love and um, and so I, I said to her what if you were more kind and gentle with yourself what if you realized that all of these emotions were just a normal natural part of your life and and being able to show up every day being able to care for your loved one every day wanting to be strong, wanting to feel spiritual, wanting to feel connected to God. Um, you know, that, that the, just, keep, just showing up every day is so brave. Okay, and, and I asked her, I said, you know what, you know, if you were talking to your grandchild or if you were talking to a friend and they were sharing with you, oh my gosh, I just, I feel so scared. I feel like a failure. I feel like I'm not good enough or brave enough. You know, you wouldn't tell them, well, yeah, you are a failure if you feel sad. You are, a f you, that is a problem to feel that much fear. Like you would never say that to somebody else. But a lot of times we say that to ourselves. And a lot of times we just don't give ourselves the, the, the permission to be in a mess and to feel our emotions. And we, we wanna stuff them. We think, sometimes we think that, that we shouldn't feel that way, that we should be stronger. And I, I wanna give you all permission to just go ahead and feel whatever feelings you have. Because the more that you um, fight against that, the more that you tell yourself your feelings are wrong or bad, then you get stuck in them. And it's, a, and then you're stuffing them and then it creates a lot of um, just discontent and that's how 
um, that's how a lot of resentment can build up and it can have a physical effect on your body and science is proving that more and more that our emotions if we're not taking care of them if we're not allowing them to process that it can have a really big physical effect on your body and so you might notice like you can think about whether you have like stomach aches or headaches or um, anxiety or little panic attacks like a lot of times or, or even depression depression can be I heard this the other day in a talk that I listened to from a psychologist I'm like depression is oftentimes the suppression of emotions and we we learn to do that as children but sometimes um, I don't know maybe teachers or parents have you ever heard it, as you were a child hey you shouldn't feel that way you don't need to feel bad about that that's not that doesn't hurt that I mean sometimes you know as parents and I'm guilty of this myself but sometimes we discount how our children feel even if it doesn't make sense to us anytime we we discount that um, it teaches a child to like stuff those feelings or that that's wrong to feel that way and so as adults it's time to take responsibility for that it's time to understand the truth that our feelings are okay and that we can be kind and gentle with ourselves and even if somebody else doesn't get it we can get understand ourselves and also um, we can know that God understands us and that that he's with us every step of the way and wants to give us that comfort wants to give us that healing wants to help us process um, and so my sister and I were talking this morning about how um, as we're going through difficult situations in our lives it may feel like it's taking a long time to overcome emotions and then but but the most important thing is to just be consistent right just keep showing up keep being kind and gentle with yourself and she was sharing an experience where um, like the transformation just happens and I've felt that before too where um, where I'm going along going along feeling like how am I ever going to overcome this and then one day because I've I keep showing up that peace comes those fears start to dissipate and they get smaller and I think we all go through that process and I think my message today is like really pay, pay attention to you know where are your emotions how are you dealing with them are you being kind and gentle with yourself so um, I was thinking about you know what what essential oils could I share with you today um, that would help through that this process and one of the ones that I've used a lot over the last you know year and a half as I've been processing you know, everything about um, you know my sister's death because it's been a it, I've had a lot of messy moments <laughs> around that and um, so I've used a lot of cardamom on my liver and that's that's an oil that really helps to um, help you process the grief it doesn't take the grief away but a lot of times it you know you want to hang on to it or, or or not fully feel it so it can get stuck and in your liver is one one place that grief and anger get stuck so cardamom is one of those oils that you can use as, as a support to help you process through that and allow your body a way to release it um, your liver just if you're not familiar with that it's under your right rib cage so you can just put a little bit of that oil on um, thyme is another one that I've used a lot of on my liver um, in the I am fabulous book from Desiree there's um, all kinds of great emotional blends the one that jumped out at me today was release your fears and um, you know that's something that we can just always be processing always trying to let go of always be aware of 
are you holding on to these fears or are you just recognizing it and are you willing to, to give it up? And so, um, okay, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to process here. I can feel a lot of emotion on the, on this little Facebook live from people. So just go ahead and take a big breath and think about where you might be holding on to some fear and just take a breath and release it. And, um, and, and I'm just going to integrate for you that you can be kind and gentle with yourself, that it's okay to feel emotions and process emotions and, and, and let them go with love and pay attention to just allowing yourself to be okay with whatever emotional mess you're in in the moment. And as you're okay with that and just trust it and trust the process, then you're going to be able to let that go and, and have more compassion towards yourself and others. You're gonna find forgiveness a lot easier and you're going to have a more, um, like a stronger connection with the divine and getting that help that you need. So that is my message for today. Um, thanks for being here, you guys. I love you and I, um, I'm just sending you lots of love and light. So I hope you have a great day. Bye.